So Bethlehem, Colossians 1, 21 through 23. This is God's word to us, God's word for us. Here's what it says. And you, that's you and me, who were once alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds. He has now, speaking of Jesus, reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless um, and above reproach before him. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel, that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, in which Paul, I, Paul, became a minister. That's Colossians 1, 21 through 23. He says, you before Jesus were alienated. Let me encourage you. What does alienated mean? You know, that's like kind of a word you don't think you'd see in scripture. I think in the movie Alien, you know, back in the day, uh, or that idea of like what alienated literally means to be transferred to another owner. That's what it means like that. When you were alienated, you were under the influence, under the power of a different master, of a different owner, of a different ruler. Paul is saying, do not forget, right, that in our own sin, on our own, when we are separated from God, before we knew Jesus, right, we were actually way worse than we think we are. Like the way to describe ourselves, we would often go, yeah, you know, in my sin, you'll you'll hear us talk about in our culture. I'm a, I, you know, I've made mistakes. I'm a mistaker. I'm, I'm prone to be selfish. Uh, I have regrets. I've made unwise choices. And we have a way of kind of tamping down actual. When Paul says, "No, you were alienated. You were enemies of God." That's what he's saying, that actually before Jesus left to our own, we are separated from God. We are on our own. But the gift that I want you to rejoice in, the gift I want to remind you for, uh, of, is that it's in Jesus that we are reconciled. And what does reconciled mean? To be brought back into relationship, that Jesus made a way for us. And Paul's very clear, it's by the death of and the resurrection by Christ on the cross, he has made a way for us, right? To have relationship with God. And Paul is saying that is where we come back to again and again and again. That once we were separated from God and God didn't meet us halfway, God came the whole way. God didn't say, you do your part, I'll do my part. No, God gave us his son, Jesus Christ, as our substitute. Uh, he took our place. He became our sacrifice in his resurrection. He is our savior. So the problem, like for us, when we look at the world, is there's people who are alienated from God, people who are separated from God, people who are under the influence of another power. We don't like to think like that, but that's what Paul's saying. The answer is that he gave us Christ Jesus. He reconciled, brought us back into relationship with him. Not something we do on our own, but something he has done for us. And so salvation, what I would encourage you, salvation wasn't dependent on you. Your salvation wasn't dependent on you. If you're a follower of Jesus, when Jesus changed your life, your salvation wasn't dependent on you, your works, your effort. It was dependent on Christ. What I mean today is take encouragement. That, that you're going to mess up, that you're going to fail, but your salvation, if it wasn't made way by you, it's not sustained by you. It's Christ that's holding you up. And the result of this, when you bask in that, we talk about, you hear me say from time to time, the Gospels are not the A uh, to B, C of the Christian faith. It's the A to Z. And when you come back and remind yourself what I was like before Jesus, Jesus has changed my life. And even though there are times that I fall, I'm reminded I was never holding him up. And the beauty for us as believers is we come back to that again and again. And here's what Paul says. And in that, we find ourselves holy and blameless. Why? It gives us a thankful and a humble heart. So I want you to pray. And the prayer is, thank you that you found me just as I am, that you saved me, that you brought me back, and that my salvation is dependent on the work of Christ. And today, I'm grateful, and today, I'm humbled because of that. Pray with me.